What's up everyone, it's Taj here. Today is a video of a slightly different nature. Today I'm going to be discussing the symbols on the bottom of Pokemon cards, which are now starting to confuse a few people because you might have seen um, there are several symbols like that yellow A in a black circle, 77A there, the D in an octagon there. What does it all mean? Well, I'm here to clear up that for you guys today and explain to you what is going on with these symbols on these cards. Okay, so before I start, I'd like to thank PokeGuardian. So go to at PokeGuardian on Twitter. Uh, it's a new site that I follow, and he's been covering this extensively around symbols on cards. Also, at Tony Lay, who is a uh, a really good source of information on Twitter and covers Japanese cards and first discovered what the octagon symbols were on the bottom of the card as well. Right, that's all the thanks, let's get on and move on with things. So, at the beginning of the Sun and Moon era in Japan, what you started to see was cards appearing with a little um, A in an octagon symbol there. So this is promo number three, very early on in the days of Sun and Moon. What the A essentially meant which was discovered by Tony Lay um, towards the, when we started getting different letters, was that this is rotation symbols. So what this covers is first year of Sun and Moon that gets rotated. So in, in English sense, what that meant was Sun and Moon base set up to and including Crimson Invasion and Shining Legends were fell in A. The following year, Ultra Prism to Lost Thunder including Dragon Majesty would be B and then the final year of uh, Sun and Moon which is team up to Cosmic Eclipse including Hidden Fates would be C which then takes us on to the Sword and Shield era which would be D which is why you've now started to suddenly see in English that symbol they've started to adopt it in the English rotation to make things a bit clearer for when we start rotating so you can see these there's a promo here of Score Bunny and the regular card of Score Bunny from Sword and Shield set. Both have that octagon with the D in it to signify that this is um, year four of this rotation system. But for us in English, it's the first time we're seeing it. So let's um, clarify what this means and why we've got those other symbols on it as well. So this is the same card as you can see the wording i know you can't read japanese a lot of you out there some of you can but the wording on the card the moves the text around the moves is exactly the same don't know why my camera is blurring maybe because i'm holding it too close but one was released at the beginning of sun and moon this was released well into the second year because promos from about 150 upwards were considered to be set b because this card was a reprint essentially with an alternative artwork because it's got exactly the same moves, it's categorized as an A card. So what that shows is that cards being released later that were reprints of cards released earlier in that era were getting the appropriate symbol to provide you with information as to whether they are playable off the rotation or not. We never had this symbol in English, so we adopted a slightly different method. So English products usually state this set to this set is no longer playable, and black star promos from SM001 to SM, I don't know, 90 or 105 are now no longer and playable. But we get new promos, which are reprints of older ones. And how do you then make sure people are aware that they're no longer legal as far as standard rotation is concerned? Our method that we had in English was this. So SM103 was originally released uh, it's a 2018 stamp on here. We recently got that card with exactly the same wording, just alternative artwork released in a gold format with uh, SM103A. So the A signifies that it's still the same promo number, SM103. So when it comes to rotation and they state cards, let's say SM70 to SM120 are no longer in standard format, you would know that this is no longer in standard format. The A with a yellow A in a black circle states it's an alternative artwork. So you are aware that this is being previously printed in a set 
with the same wording, so it is a reprint of a card. So that's what the A signifies. So that's to clarify that. You can see this repeated again with Hidden Fates. So Hidden Fates included shiny cards, which by the time they were released in English, were no longer standard format. Shining Legends rotated out because it was part of the base set rotation, so base set to Crimson Invasion, Shining Legends fell within that. So that by the time we had Hidden Fates, uh, Zoroa, with this same move, Stampede and Ram, had rotated out. It was called 52 of Shining Legends. But, as you can see, it was part of the Shiny Vault in Hidden Fates. But what they've done is they've put the Shining Legends symbol on there so you are aware that this card is no longer standard format and they've put a alternate art so you again are made aware. Hold on, this is a reprint from Shining Legends even though the number doesn't tally up with a number, it's not 52A for example, but that was a way to signify that this card is rotated. You can see the same again with Zoroark GX. Zoro Zoroark GX has a slightly different number system. It does adopt the original number because this was part of a Black Star promo. And you can see the little star just next to it there to say that it's part of the shiny vault, but it's a promo. So hopefully that explains things to you a little bit better. The yellow A in a circle is essentially alternate art, so, and then it will have a symbol next to it showing you what set it was originally in and you can figure it out from that whether it's still standard rotation or not. The little symbols we have with octagons, as you can see here, the little octagons with the D in, so they will be A, B, C in Japanese, but in English we're gonna start seeing them and it's a D, is to sim simply signify that that is a standard rotation for the first set of sword, first year of Sword and Shield. So essentially this will cover us till the end of the year and when the new set drops next year February you will see an E mark on there and that will be the rotation for the following year. So hopefully that clarifies things for you and clears things up. If you've got any questions always feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always willing to answer questions to you guys. Check out my Twitter as well at Pokitaj. Also like I said Tony Lay and Poke Guardian are fantastic sources of information around this kind of stuff as well. But I just wanted to do this video to clear this thing up for you guys and hopefully it's been a useful video. Let me know if you like this tutorial video. I'm more than willing to share my knowledge and share expertise around different things on Pokemon. Uh, a lot of you who follow me on Twitter know I'm quite active and I do like researching a lot. So let me know if you like these videos and I'll make another one for you guys. See you guys soon. Check out my other content as well and have a great day. Bye.